with your boy Jay. As you can see, the co is here with me. Today, we're about to watch episode eight of The Last of Us. When we last um, left off, um, Elle, she was raw dog and stitching up Joe. <laughs> no medicine, no numbness, just grab the needle and some yarn. She, it shows how much she cared when she stuck, stuck beside him and figured out a way to save his life. So I'm hoping to save his life because, like I said, I haven't played a video game and I don't ever watch the previews to the next episode. So I don't know. It was saying, I, I know the Mandalorian is kicking off right now and I don't know how he could be on two shows at one time. So I'm nervous. So before we get to this, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe for me. Helps the channel out. Don't forget to check out our social media. Don't forget to check out, um, forget to check out the Patreon. You get early access to all my videos. You get exclusives. You get access to the polls over there. So with that being said, I see you on the other side. Let's get it. Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Why she crying? Do you remember what comes next? And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. For there will be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither will there be any more pain. I bet they call this. When can we bury him? Can we bury him? The ground is too cold to dig. We'll bury your father in the spring. Oh, that's up. How much do we have left? Venison. Elf, grab it. Keep the whole town on rations. Maybe a week. Two at best. I'm the angry sh Josiah and Martin think they spotted some deer the other night, a couple miles east. It was dark. See what you want to see sometimes. I sensed doubt in there. They haven't lost faith in you, David. They're just scared. Not from them. I still believe. So is this a good church group or is this a bad church group? The last six months have been hard. For all of us. But I need to know you're with me. Yeah. Good. Now go get our guns. We're going hunting. She did all right. Oh, she is starving. She gave him his last her last bite. And hey, that is love for real. I don't care what nobody tell you. If somebody's starving and they give you their last bite of food, they love the out of you. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> but that's cold as her whole face for it. Man, I, I just can't imagine to be out there like that. By yourself, scared, trying to take, trying to protect and take care of the person who does that for you. How's she gonna get it back? No fucking way. Well. What do you think? I don't see anybody. You think we can just take it? They better steal her there. 
Drop your rifles! Now! Turn and face me. Slow. Any sudden moves, I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy. You're quite a hunter. We didn't even hear you coming. Turn around and walk away. Okay. Just go. I'll I talk. won't say it twice. Please, just ten seconds. My name is David. This is my friend James. This has been David's last combo. We're not asking for charity. We, we can trade you for some of the deer. We have, what do you need? We have boots. Medicine? Like for infections. Back in our village, you're welcome to follow us. I'm not following you anywhere. Buddy Boy can go get it. He comes back, you get half the deer. Anyone else shows up, I put, I put one, one right, right between. between my eyes. I know they're trying to cost you a little girl, but she got bodies. It's a four mile round trip back to our settlement. It's gonna be a while before James gets back. I have some oil and matches in my pack. We could take shelter, start a fire. Hey man, I don't know if y'all ever had deer meat before. It's so good. So what's your name? It's hard to trust strangers, I know, but I honestly mean you no harm. And for what it's worth, there's room for you in our group, if you want. You're inviting me to your hunger club? Thanks. <laughs> We're still here. I'm a decent man. Hey man, how can you not love her? Is this some weird cult thing? Well, you sort of kind of got me there. I am a preacher, but just pretty standard Bible stuff. Before that, I was a teacher. Math taught kids about your age. Well, I found God after the apocalypse, which is either the best time or the worst time to find him. Hard to say. Probably the worst. But when the Pittsburgh QZ fell in 17, Fireflies and Fedra, I left with a few others, and that's how I ended up with our flock. Oh, he called him a flock. Well, your luck had to run out sooner or later. Luck? No such thing as luck. No, I, I believe everything happens for a reason. Sometimes that reason's got you stupid. It does. I can prove it to you. Okay. So I sent four of our people to a nearby town to, to scavenge what they could, and only three of them came back. Turns out he was murdered by this crazy man. That crazy man was traveling with a little girl. Everything happens for a reason. James, lower the gun. Oh, shut the f up. Did you bring the medicine? Yeah, but... Throw I... it to her. Back away. You won't survive for long out there. I can protect you. I shot both of them. Somebody was killed by a crazy man? No, he attacked him. Okay, oh, the fuck do I put this, Joe? Joe, where the fuck do I put this? Fuck it. Mm. I'm telling you, I shot those two. Some of this said crazy man with a little girl. You do that medicine now? How? How? I'm telling you. I wouldn't risk it. They know I'm out there by myself. Ain't didn't tell me they got a town of people. I'm not risking it. Only five more left. What is it? Venison. He asked what it is. He said finishing, but he gave her a weird look. Oh, shut the f up. Big one. That's, that's the f daddy. They ate the daddy. They are eating the daddy. They having daddy stew right now. Yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. When the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. Won't be hard to find in the snow. And we'll bring that man to justice. You should kill him. You should kill both of them. Oh. Oh, that's definitely Daddy Stu. 
I was making allegations at first, but I know that for a f fact now. I know you think you don't have a father anymore. But the truth is, Hannah, you will always have a father. And you will show him respect when he's speaking. Come again? You are, you are not my daddy. Amen. Yeah, the way he the way he ate that, yeah, that's a hey, hundred percent fact. Hey man, you gotta be a cold blood motherfucker to cut somebody up and eat them. I don't care if they was already dead. Well, I ain't never been in a situation where I had to eat nobody, so it might be different in <laughs> that situation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dead or might look delicious. Do you can you give somebody too much penicillin? I actually do got the horse parked in the garage like a car. What you got in the garage? Got a Mustang. You know what I'm saying? Well, you better shut that garage. If they find her, they're gonna kill that horse. Go get your gun. At least the pistol. If this man's not already dead. He's dangerous. What about the girl. We bring her back with us. I don't mean to question your sense of mercy, David. We bring that girl back with us. She's just another mouth to feed. If we leave her out here, she'll die. Yeah, maybe that's God's will. I mean, you know he's crazy. Joe, wake up. Joe, wake the fuck up, Joe. He must be in the Mandalorian right now. That's why he sleeps so long. That's what we're going to say. He's in another universe. There are men coming, okay? I'm going to lead them away from you. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it? This is wild. Like, I'm nervous because she's on a horse. They're not going to hear me. Let's go. Alive! She just got that horse killed. They're going to kill that horse. I got her! Hey, man, you know she's hurt right now. She ain't had nothing to eat. And that was a hard drop. It was really about to shoot her. Two of you with me. Drag the horse. The rest of you, stay here, go door to door. You so hungry for vengeance? Deliver it. That's a lot of doors. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't go be, I'm, I'm not knocking over the door. You know what I'm saying? Just looking for him. You gotta worry about them, um, Oh, he's in there. He is up. <laughs> oh, shut the f up. Hey, that's a bad motherfucker, man. <laughs> Nasty. You hear him drowning on that. That's gross. Hey, he said if he wasn't dead, he's dangerous. That's the most dangerous man on TV right now. Don't quote me on that because I have I haven't seen a lot of TV shows, you know. At least not no Noah was. I started worrying he wouldn't wake up. So you you threw it on the concrete floor. Hungry? Why am I in a cage? Because I'm afraid of you. Oh. The others, they want me to kill you for all that's happened. But I stopped them. Fuck you. I can see how much you care about him. 
So I know it hurts, but even so, you gotta face reality. And hey, you don't wanna hang out with them, they have people still. And what I'm offering you is a beginning. But if you can't find a way to trust me, then yes, you are alone. Bro, you got me in a cage. Freezing. Like, Joe ain't about to catch more bodies, is he? My man was dying 10 minutes ago. Timothy? He gone, folk. Hey, my man had killed all three of them. I guess he ain't killed them yet. Leave him alone. You're next. Oh, please. I don't know any girl. You focus right here. Or I'll pop your fucking kneecap off. Hey, my man woke up on that bullshit. That's what's up. You're going to point to where we are and where your resort is. And it better be the exact same spot your buddy points to. <laughs> hey, her mess. Just woke up. Hungry. Stomach hurt. Hey. My dude is hard to kill. Oh! No. No. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. No. He didn't tell you, don't, don't call to Jesus. Jesus ain't here to help you. I ain't telling you shit. It's okay. No. I believe him. No. <laughs> hey, man. I don't give a so hard, bro. It's okay. I believe him. Oh. See, I was right. I told you these motherfucking people. For what it's worth, this is just dear meat, I swear. You're gonna chop me up into little pieces. I'd rather not. Please, just tell me your name. Make up a name. If you want to judge me... Judge you? You're eating people, you sick fuck! Yes. There are only a few of us that know. But I would have told you. You're an animal. Well, yes, we all are. That's sort of the point. But what was I supposed to do? Let them starve? Who I expect me to keep them safe? Who love me? Yeah, maybe. You don't believe that. I don't think your friend would either. Didn't he take another man's life to save yours? He was defending himself. He was defending you. No, he, no, no, bro. Go back to episode six. He was defending himself. You remind me of me. You're a natural leader. You're smart, loyal. But she, she ain't eating people. You have a violent heart, and I should know. I've always had a violent heart, and I struggled with it for a long time, but then the world ended and I was shown the truth. Weren't you a teacher? Why are you telling me all of this? Because you can handle it the way the others can't. They need a father, you don't. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep, and all I want is an equal. So, okay. What about my friend? Like I said, loyal. I mean, I just don't know what he wants from her. I can tell the others to stop looking for him. <laughs> if you want to have people, <laughs> they better. Because he's on that They do what I tell them to do. They follow me. And they would follow us. Lord knows I could use the help. <laughs> do he want help or do he want a wife? What, do he, what is he wanting? But this could go either way. Think of what we could do together. As strong as we are. And we do whatever we needed for our people. Imagine the life we could give them. Imagine the life we could build. Ow! Mm. You little cunt. I don't want that. Let's see what I go tell the others now. Ellie. What? Tell them that Ellie is a little girl 
who broke her fucking finger. Yeah, honey, you didn't think that through. I mean, you probably did right, because I mean, I figured like I figured he was trying to give you the, you know what I'm saying, the old dirty pickle. You know what I mean? But and he looked like a wild man. Look at his fing hair. And they are really jumping a little girl. You oh, had your chance. No, I'm infected. I'm infected. And now so are you. Roll up my sleeve. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, I would probably kill her faster because she said that. What did you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? David. No. No, she would have turned by now. This isn't real. That looks pretty fucking real to me. I'm glad he died. He been a bitch this whole show anyway. Bitch. Oh, y'all better not let Joe see her bleeding. Oh, dang. Y'all better not let Joe see her bleeding like that. <laughs> Burn this bitch down. Burn this bitch down. There's no way out, Ellie. The doors are locked, and I have the keys. Ellie? Ellie! Hey, that bitch running fast, ain't it? Ellie! Joe, look for the fire! So, how did you do it? What's the secret? Or are you just that fucking special? She's kind of fucking special. Neither one of us is dying today. You see, I've changed my mind. I've decided you do need a father. And I'm gonna teach you. Ellie? Brad, people won't believe we're gonna have a meat cleaver in your hand. <laughs> Fuck! Joe, hurry up, baby. Hurry up. Hurry up. He's close to her. Don't be afraid. There's no fear in love. Thank you, girl. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Hey, bro, you done raised the f***ing soldier, bro. She in a horror movie chopped this motherfucker up. I still think you need to go back there and shoot him in the dick. He won't feel it. Best of the principal. I hope you grab some meat. Like deer meat, not like people meat. That's crazy. All right. So we just got finished watching episode eight of The Last of Us. I ain't gonna lie to you. I about cried at the end right there when she just was chopping them up. I've told y'all before about catching somebody else's ass whooping. I mean, he caught his chopping, but it was mixed with some other people's chopping, too. Like, last episode, before it went to the flashback, this episode, I was worried about her being able to survive on her own. Actually, I was worried about that at the end of, um, what's this, eight? 
six. At the end of six, I was worried about her being able to cycle out on her own. I am no longer worried about that. I don't know how she would do against the effect on her own, but I believe in her 100% now because she, um, basically she nursed him back to health on her own. She made a trade to get the stuff to nurse him back to health on her own. She actually successfully killed a deer on her own. And she um, prepared and warned Joe and proceeded to take out a pack of, let me see, one, two, three, four, at least five people. Because I'm counting Joe's deaths as her deaths because if she hadn't warned him and gave him that knife, and told him the severity of it, and had the presence of mind to do that, and then run them off to give him more time. Neither one of them will be there. So, so his kills is her kills. But then, on the two kills that she actually had, she is definitely about that action. She, she's a true survivor. I believe in her wholeheartedly. I love the fact that. I don't know how many people will pick up on the fact that people might pick up on it, her giving that last little piece of food to him, that he means that much to her. But unless you've been that hungry, you truly won't understand that. <laughs> That's probably one of the biggest forms of I love you ever. I love the fact that when he did get up, my man got up on demon time. Where she at? Where can I find her? And I'm going to kill y'all because y'all tried to hurt her. <laughs> he didn't even know who they was. He didn't even know none of that. But my man woke up on that shit. I think the next episode is the last episode of the season and I'm truly looking forward to that because they're back together now I hope you enjoyed watching this with me because I enjoy watching with you if you didn't know from me earlier like, comment, and subscribe it helps out, it helps the channel out greatly don't forget to check out the link to the Patreon um speaking of Patreon, I'm going to give a shout out to all the VIPs we have the Leslie Trey, John Harold, Becca June, the beautiful dog Missy Big Al, Robin, John the Patrick, Somnix, Lost Opportunity, aka Crow Crow, Cody Steinemeyer, Frost1997, Paul Sawicki, Grady B. Awesome, Adam, Anna Rondo, Big Frank, Echo, Naran, TJ Gingler, Kevin Riley, Red Tail Z, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., The Brandons, Garrett, Nicholas Jenkins, Jennifer Natley, Christopher William Baldwin, Jamie Gibson, BB98, David King, Coat Movies at Midnight, Elizabeth Esposito, and Super Nobody. I want to thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. Y'all the best community out there. I'll stand by it. I'll fight to the end of time for y'all. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Thank y'all for everything y'all do. I'm going to get off here. So y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night. <laughs>